light, I'm thinking the top. Wire it in place and tighten it down. What better way to understand the ins and outs of diesel technology than taking it apart and putting it back together again? Instructor Earl Elliott says students learn a great deal in a short amount of time. A lot of hands-on training in the shop. We start off in the classroom every day for about an hour on average and come to the shop and hands-on train. The curriculum revolves around heavy trucks, so it's semi-tractors, buses like you see in the background. We do diesel engines, electrical, transmissions, drivetrain, HVAC, hydraulics. It's a daily immersion that helps students develop into diesel technicians. Most of the students learn the most when they're out there with their hands getting dirty and turning wrenches and you know we can show stuff in videos which is very good. Don't get me wrong, you know, the classroom time is they will learn a lot of stuff in there as well but it's the stuff that they work on in the shop, the hands-on training that really takes set where they learn something and, and remember from now on. For student Brennan Alford, hands-on learning is critical. I have ADHD and uh, normally in normal school I have the hardest time concentrating because I'm looking at a sheet of paper and working, but out here I'm using my hands, I'm constantly, my brain is constantly active and so it's the perfect environment for me. It's a really fun class, really hands-on. Alford says the size of the engine does matter. I really like bigger stuff, working on the bigger engines, stuff like that, and also the opportunities and doors that this place can open up for me and has opened up for me is just so many. Graduates in the diesel tech program will receive 915 hours towards certification and can earn multiple ASE certifications. A master certified in ASC. Uh, we do student testing for ASC, so each and every one of them, engines, transmissions, brakes, all that has a ASC certification. So we are able to get them certified as students. Uh, there's some testing that we can, do, we can do here on campus to get that certification. Now Alford says Mr. Elliott helps make learning understandable. He's a really great instructor because when you have a problem that you can't figure out on your own, you ask him and he shows you, he shows you how to do it, the best way to go about it, but he leaves you alone to do it yourself so you learn. And with baby boomers retiring, the job market is growing. In the next five years, we're gonna be in a diesel technician shortage. So this is a very popular field to be interested in. It's guaranteed work, for sure. Average starting salary is around $14 an hour, and we've had students that come straight out of here earning anywhere from $17 to over $20 an hour. A career earning high wages, working on big engines, and keeping our economy moving down the road.